Alright, I've been saving up my scrolls for quite a while now, and I have enough to do, I think, 24 of the honor rolls. Uh, you can see, uh, for gems, I've got almost 2,200. I'm saving that up to get to that 2,700. I do recommend for the heroic summon, save up for that times 10, that 2,700 gem roll. You see you're guaranteed to get a hero, which is nice, um, and you get that extra bonus one. So if you save up long enough, if you're just starting out, you could do the first one or two because you've got a chance to get a good hero. But after that, I'd say save up and get to that 2700. Alright, on to these summons. Let's get started. Gold chest. Not bad. So I actually have all the heroes that drop here. You can check, click on that little hero drop, look at it real quick. So I have all of these already, so what I'm really hoping for are token drops. Let's see. And that's the worst option, still not so bad. Let's keep them coming. Another one of these. I wanted to make these videos so you can see if you get if you are able to save up a lot of them, um, this should tell you kind of about what percentages you're going to get of each thing. So I'm getting a lot of these silver chests right now. A few more for Black Diamond. I'm trying to work her up. If anyone saw the last uh, Honor Summons video, you saw I got a whole bunch of tokens for her and was able to get her to the to three star. Keep these coming. Mm, not getting those. Uh, those tokens so far, but some of these uh, experience pots, those are going to help out. At these higher levels, it gets really hard to maintain your party at full levels. I've cut down the number to like five or six that I'm trying to keep up to full level. So that helps some gems. It's nice. I would like to get those 15 tokens. There we go, 25 tokens for Chief Nub Nub. One of my favorites, I talk about him a lot. It's great to get that big boost. I'm so very happy with that. He's three star already for me, working on four star. Another one of these silver ones. That was 25,000 gold, that wasn't too bad. Everything's so expensive now too, even if I've got about a million and a half gold, um, but it goes quickly when you're leveling up skills at this point. More for Black Diamond, that's nice, and Pontifex, that's not a bad one. Yeah, I wish there was a special here, especially since I saved up so much. That would guarantee you tokens or something. More for Chief Nub Nub, I'll take those. I've mentioned before he's going to stay in my campaign group probably till the very end of campaigning generally. So it's nice to get him up higher. The PvP changes a lot too. Here we go. Hero tokens for Squinch. I'm not using him a whole lot. He can be very useful. Um, he's just not part of my very small team I can keep leveled right now. They really kind of force you into that system. There's, you only get to choose a couple to keep it full level. Some more for Black Diamond. That's great. Working on that fast team. I need to get her next ascension. And Masuta Kira's next ascension before I can really have a solid fast team. Alright, some more for King York. I really got a lot luckier last time with the number of uh, high tokens. There we go, 35 for Pontifex. That's great. So he's almost up to that next star level. When I get this all the way up, he'll be four star. And since you can get them from doing the dungeon raids from those two-day tournaments, it won't be long now and he'll be at four star, which is great. Chief Nub Nub, awesome. Now he's getting really close again, that's to working towards his four star. Right in a row here, this is this is what I'd like. 
All hero tokens would be my preference. The rest of that stuff's nice, but not as nice as the tokens. Dagron. Great. He's another one's hard to get him for, so I'd be very happy to get him to the next star level. Haven't been using him quite as much lately. Again, it's really hard to keep people at level. Theron's another great great character. I'm looking forward to the level cap so I can start working with some of these other ones. Back to Silver Chest. 16,000 gold, bunch of stuff. There we go. That puts me at 4 star. 35 tokens for him. That's that's great. I'll be working towards the 5 star with him. I am still including him. A lot's changed with PvP. As you go to higher levels, I think the characters that work changes and um, the number of characters you can choose from because you're not able to keep all of them leveled changes. So I'll just put a new video out on that before too long to kind of give guidance. Unfortunately, the way this game works, by the time you get further on, there's a lot of things you wish you knew earlier. So that's, I think, one thing that putting these videos out should help uh, other people that are watching them as they go up. Another one of these silver chests. Dagron, that's good. Kind of anxious now, I just want to go and uh, look at increasing that star level. For Pontifex. This is good though, more hero tokens for Ignis. And we end with the silver chest. Let's take a quick look at Pontifex. We'll get out of this. If you want, just since we're here, we'll look at the, doing a couple of these great summons. I've got a bunch of gold now, um, just for the sake of the video. I wouldn't advise you to uh, to do this, especially in early levels. You need that gold. But we're going to get some gold chests here. We'll pick up some of this stuff. Assuming that's nice. I'm trying to work him up to three star, almost there. I think I mentioned before I got a late start. I wish, uh, wish someone would have told me how useful he is. Simi Zerk, that's good. So I'm working him up to 3 star now. I didn't even see what that was, it went so quickly. Not so useful on these. <coughs> Another gold. So this isn't too bad. I could see even getting one each. 100,000 for 5 tokens. Once you get to higher levels, wouldn't be too bad. But for lower levels, it uh, would definitely not be worth it. So I wasn't keeping track, but I'm pretty sure we got quite a bit more than five gold chests here. I don't know if that was eight. Felt like I didn't get very many of the silver. So that was, that was great. Um, if you do just the regular 10,000, it feels like you get lots and lots of just the silver chests. So... Pull this one again. Silver. That stuff's not too helpful. Getting our silvers this time. More silver. That doesn't hurt though. Get that monarch. So these next, all the next five. go. There's our gold. Zerk. Say so I think all these have to be gold because our whole first batch were all silver. Clench jaw. Oh, nitpick. See, I didn't realize before that these, the gold ones were going to be just about entirely one for one on tokens. So let's do it again kind of fun. I'd heard rumors on the forums that if you do this, that Bovis Eldoro is by far the highest probability, but we've only gotten one of him so far. There's two. And silver. 
Doesn't hurt to get that stuff, but it's just not as helpful. Nice, another monarch. Rogar. So a lot of these are for... They're the characters that you could just farm for, but this would be faster. Again, a fairly expensive way to do it. When you get to higher levels, I think you do pull in a lot of, a lot of gold. And you're not leveling your characters as quickly, so you don't have as many places to put it. Another for Sir William. Which ends up giving you this, uh, this gold surplus. Bemis is ready. Alright, that's good. I want to look at uh, Pontifex before we end this video. So I'm still keeping him pretty close to level. It looks like I need to uh, increase his level a little bit. I'm still using him on my offensive team. Let's look at his stats. I've mentioned in some previous videos that when you increase a star level, it appears to me that all that's going to be attack, defense, skill, and health are all going to have about a 10 to 11% increase. So here with his current attack, he's at 933. We'd expect a little bit more than 90, so he should be a little bit over um, maybe at 1,030, somewhere in that range, 1,020 to 1,030, and his health similarly should go up to about 2,500. Um, let's take a look. Nice, four star. All right, yep, so right in between 1,020 and 1,030. It's the same, it seems to be consistent everywhere. Um, so he's up to 1,026. His health is almost 2,500. Remembering that he has reincarnate, so after all, they go through all that health, he still uh, comes back to, to life with a much less useful version of himself. Um, but still, when I use him, especially in PvP raiding, um, he's a great one to take damage. If, if they attack him, uh, and uh, you, you can never guarantee that. He's got quite a bit of health, and even after they've taken him out, you still have a character that you can use to finish people off. It seems like that comes up a lot in PvP raiding, that you just got to finish someone off with one little hit, and that's that's a good benefit there. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, hero rolls. Let me know what you're looking for, if there's any other videos. I had a big test that just came up this last week, so I hadn't put anything out for a little while, but I should be back at it now. See everyone soon. Thanks a lot.